In the next 24 hours, we are predicted to get over a foot of snow. Up here at about 7,000 feet. Wanna come out for a potty break, William? It's a bit cold. He does not look into this. He's like, why are we here right now? Length, I will go for a cup of coffee in the morning. This is how us Jeep girls make our coffee. Instant coffee. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna need it today. Water. Oat milk. Jeep girl coffee. So this is actually my first snowstorm living out of my Jeep Wrangler. And to say the least, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> um, I'm definitely keeping an eye out on the snow levels. If you're gonna camp in a storm like this, you need to make sure you're driving down a road that gets plowed. So in my case, I drove down a road that gets plowed and I'm now here on some BLM land. So I'm monitoring the snow levels. I've driven in this Jeep in some pretty heavy, heavy snow before. I know for a fact I can get out in a foot of snow in the Jeep. So we should be fine. My main goal today is to check out a hot spring and jump in it in the snow. It is very windy though. I just feel like it's bucket list for me to like be in a hot spring in the snow. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna move the Jeep closer to the paved road and which gets plowed. <laughs> Cause you can get stuck back here and we're expecting a lot of snow. Don't do this y'all unless you're prepared. If that is your number one takeaway from this video, that is your number one takeaway from this video. Should be an interesting night to say the least. Oof. It is a snowy, snowy one. Oh, ready to drive in this, William? Why do we have a really rigged out Jeep if we don't use it for good? <laughs> William really wants to take the bone he found with us. We can't, buddy. That's gross inside the Jeep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bubba. You can't bring that with us. There's a trailer here <laughs> and the storm is really picking up. I want to go in the hot spring in the snow. So it's currently 28 out. Eh, not so bad. <laughs> William is all cozy in his little cocoon and I'm about to jump into the hot spring. I just want to be one of those cool girls who like does cold plunges or whatever. This is not a cold plunge. This is very far from a cold plunge. The water's lukewarm, but maybe this is the gateway to me being one of those cool cold plunge girlies. <laughs> the look William is giving me right now is like, girl, you're crazy. You do know it's a snowstorm out there. I'll be right here under the blankets when you get back, but don't expect me to be coming out there with you. Well, I did it y'all. Just as I was getting out, some more people drove up and I think they are also going to jump in the hot spring. I think I sort of understand the appeal of a cold plunge now, even though that wasn't a cold plunge, but 
it makes sense because it's kind of exhilarating and exciting. So maybe this is my gateway into cold plunges. Maybe in the next video, I will be doing a cold plunge. There's something so terrifying, yet so electrifying, about being in the snowstorm alone. It's a reminder of how fragile, yet resilient, life is. The plants and animals are holding on through freezing temperatures and high winds, just waiting for the storm to roll by. And me, I'm just like them. And though I'm alone, I know that in the morning, the sun will appear from behind the clouds and life will go on just as it did before. We've been out here for about, been out here for about five minutes. William's done already. Okay, let's go back inside. Go inside. Yeah, it's too cold for William out here. Okay, we are back inside the Jeep and we are about to make this place super cozy and we are gonna get cozy ourselves and just enjoy and ride out the rest of the storm. There's nothing much to do. I'm gonna cook some sushi burritos. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out. William, do you wanna wear your pajamas today? First, we gotta turn on our source of heat, my diesel heater. I will be the first to admit that nights like these are pretty dang boring in the Jeep. Thankfully, I have service tonight so I can watch a movie or listen to a podcast. I do have to find ways to stay busy when I'm in the Jeep on days like this because I'm an outside kind of person. I love to be outside. I love to be doing everything outside. So being stuck in the Jeep is not favorable, but we're gonna make it as cozy as possible today. And because we can't cook outside, I'm going to show you guys a meal in which you don't have to cook outside. That is the sound of a heater that has enough power <laughs> to turn on. Yay. Check out William's ultra cute space boy pajamas. Let's get you cozy. Let's get me cozy. Let's make some food. I'll give you your dinner, Will. And we're just gonna enjoy the night and the cozy safety of the Jeep. William is in his space jams. Space jammies, if you will. Sleepy boy. William seems to know that it's one of those days. Step one of this recipe is probably throw some of you guys off your rockers, but uh, I basically take this white rice stuff. It's like already cooked uh, 90 seconds in the microwave usually. I just stick it on top of my diesel heater and it works. That's all I have to say. That's what I do, all on, in all honesty. And then I just take some rice vinegar and some sesame seeds and mix that in to my rice. Yeah, so the rice is warm and nice. Like, it's like just warm enough. And next, to spare you guys from having to watch me chop a bunch of veggies today, um, I've already pre-topped them. And here I've got, I believe the term is julienne, julienne cucumbers, julienne carrots, some spinach, some imitation crab, <laughs> it's wobbly, and I also have an avocado. And we're gonna settle that all on my nori. She roll, leaving a little section to be able to close it with. That is not enough sesame seeds for my liking. Let's put some more on there. Cause why not? We live in a Jeep and we're in a storm. All right, then. I lay out my veggies. There's no point in skimping. This imitation crab stuff I'm gonna pull apart a little bit. So avocado, like so. And some spinach to add some iron in our diet. <laughs> oh, I also forgot some green onion. I julienned those, julienned. Oh, and then the secret ingredient, not so secret, sriracha and mayonnaise mixed together. I'm gonna put some dollops of that on there. You're supposed to put some water on the end to seal it. <laughs> I'm gonna have as in this. I'm so hungry. I don't even care. Because I don't have a sushi roll thing and I don't care to carry one with me, I basically will just roll it. Yeah. <laughs> roll messy, but it's good. Oh, and I don't have soy sauce right now, so I'm just using tamari. This stuff is pretty good. I really do think key to living in an SUV is 
a lot of times you just have to think differently about things. You can't just like live your life as you were in a house or even a van. You have to be prepared. Like I knew I was going to end up in a snowstorm out here. So I just decided to prepare a meal and get ingredients for something that's super easy to make in here. <sighs> All right, we'll try this now. It's very messy. Mmm, <laughs> the onion was kind of hard to bite. Well, if we're being honest here, I did absolutely nothing for the past couple of hours. William took a nap, and now we're going to go outside. Let William run around a little bit. Jeep is covered. Wait, look at this drift. Oh my lord. It is so snowy. <laughs> Well, we did our business. William basically just ran out there, peed, and then came back in here. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna sign off for tonight. I'm kind of excited to see how tomorrow goes. Uh, yeah, it should be fine getting out of here with the Jeep. Um, oh man, it's bad, it's so early, but I'm so tired. It's nice and cozy in here, and yeah, it's time to sleep. Bicycles going. Something left tracks in the snow last night. A lot of them. I wonder what it was. Well, it's morning, y'all. And I'm just in awe at the beauty right now. Like, I can't stop staring at it. It's so beautiful out here. You know, when something's just so beautiful, you start to tear up. Right now. How lucky am I to be here right now? <laughs> well, I've got a friend I'm gonna meet up with here at a hot spring in a few minutes, so I'm going to start cleaning up the Jeep. Most of the melting has been done for me, which is really nice, but I have a bunch of icicles on the Jeep and that's just extra weight, so. So we're just gonna clean up the Jeep a little bit before we go. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's a huge one right there. Well, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> All right, well, it's time for me to test my driving skills and see if I can get through all the snow to get back to the road. I'm back to the road. Yay. <laughs> 